Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is me Desiree and today I want to show you a couple of new Hoyas that I bought and one of them I want to do an emergency repot on. I just feel it in my soul that I have to repot this plant right away in order to keep it alive. But let me show you what I bought first. So the first new Hoya I have here is a Hoya Bella. I mean the name, Hoya Bella, that's so perfect. I saw this at Osuna Nursery, it was $22.99, it's a six inch hanging basket. Isn't this just lovely? I mean it's a Hoya, but I'm not convinced that it's not a lipstick plant because it looks just like a lipstick plant, doesn't it? I have one hanging right here and it just looks exactly the same, like the same kind of leaves and everything. But I know this is a Hoya Bella, I mean it's marked Hoya Bella and I've seen other people show this in videos and it's a Hoya Bella. I've never seen one like this. It's just absolutely beautiful, completely full. I mean, it's amazing. And when I saw it hanging there, I said out loud, oh my God, is that a Hoya Bella? And I do that regularly when I'm out plant shopping by myself. I just kind of exclaim out loud when I see something exciting. But when you see a new cool plant in real life, you gotta do it. And that's what I said when I saw this. I love it so much. Um, I have it sitting in my living room right now. It's completely dry and I think it needs water now, but these leaves are kind of tiny so I'm not really sure. But I know with Hoya you're supposed to let it completely dry out and then kind of let the leaves tell you when it needs water. I'm going to let this one go a couple more days but so far so good and it's absolutely stunning. And when I saw this also I was like, oh, I'm going to be like Jacqueline's jungle because I think she has a Hoya Bella in her like little picture like on her YouTube channel and on her Instagram it's kind of like like this like she has a little pose with it and I thought oh, I'm like Jacqueline's jungle now but I love this I think it's absolutely beautiful and I could not wait to show you that I found it love it so much okay and then the other Hoya I found I posted about this one on my community tab when I found it because again when I saw this I said is that a Hoya Chelsea it's a Hoya Chelsea. This is one that's been on the wish list in my heart. I have been wanting to see this plant in real life. I bought a Hoya sometime earlier this year that I thought was a Hoya Chelsea, but it's not. It's I don't even know what it is to be honest. But this is a Costa Farms hanging basket. I found this at Home Depot. It was marked $19.99, but it rang up $14, which what a steal. It's a beautiful full, how big is this? Eight inch plant. Um, they had a whole bunch of them, but they were all so overloaded with water. I mean, I picked up every single one to buy the lightest one, and some of them were so heavy that I like tensed my muscle like to hold it. So just a heads up, check it before you buy it. Get the one that's probably a little dry. But this one still is very heavy with water, and I am going to repot this one today. I know you're not supposed to repot your plants right away, but I've done it a lot and it seems to work out just fine. And with this one, I feel like I need to repot it because I don't have the best experience with Costa Farms hanging baskets. I've talked about this before. Unless it's a pothos or like a philodendron or something, I just find they just die. They just die right away. All of the Hoyas I have ever bought all just completely died. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just like the pot is too big, there's too much soil, it's holding on to too much water, it's plastic, so it's just like, it's not wicking away moisture from the roots. And from what I have experienced, Hoyas have tiny little root systems, so I don't know if this plant needs all of this wet soil, you know? But they do that because the soil will stay wet in transit and you know, you want your plant to stay watered while it's being transported but I just feel like I need to get this plant out of here to give it the best chance for success. Because like I said, I haven't had the best experience with these hanging baskets. But I also don't think I've ever repotted one right away either. I just kind of leave them there and they just slowly die. I will say though, they do use a really good hanger on their hanging baskets because it's one that turns. So when you have your plant hanging, you can turn it to face how you want and not have to be dependent on the way the hanger's going, you know? So I always like to hang on to those. So I did bring in this pot and I'm hoping that this is gonna fit in here. I'm thinking it will because like I said, these have like really small root systems. And I did put in here one of these mesh screens that I got from Timu. This is the first time I'm using it and I'm so excited about it because this pot has 
a pretty big drainage hole and the soil will just fall straight through there. And normally I just put a rock in there or I just kind of hope the soil won't fall out. But I'm so excited to have these little screens now to help me out. I also brought in some soil, which is why my hand already has dirt all over it. I just got a couple of handfuls of the Fox Farm Ocean Forest soil and a couple of handfuls of orchid bark. That's just like my go-to thing. I just mix it together. And let's just pop this baby out. It is still wet, even though I kept this outside the last couple of days, but it hasn't really dried out too much. But let's see what we are working with. Looks good. Like I'm sure you could see here, not a lot of roots going on, but there are some kind of circled around here, but I definitely can fit this into that pot there. And from what I have learned, I don't know, from what other people have said, Hoya likes to be a little root bound and doesn't really need to be in a huge pot. Um, so I think it'll work out just fine. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze it here so hopefully it kind of breaks apart on its own. I mean, so far, a lot of extra soil here. And I will reuse this because, you know, it's always useful for something, even if I just kind of spread it outside somewhere. Put it in a, a bed or a big planter. I mean, look at all of this soil so far. And look how little the plant is. Can't really see. I'm trying not to make a mess on the floor. But here's the plant and the soil. I'll show you how much soil is left over here. All right. There's a little piece there. Like, look how many roots this little guy has. It's just, that's cute. That's a cute one to put its own little planter. I like that. Okay, let's put some of this soil down in here. And let's start picking these pieces off. Ooh, that's a good vine. But you can see, like, look at the roots here. Look how little they are for how big the pot was. So I just want to give it the best chance for success, you know, and since I haven't had the best success with these hanging baskets of Hoya, I just got to try something different to, to kind of keep it alive, you know? There's another good little piece. I'm just kind of laying them in here for now, and then we'll kind of clean it up and fill it with soil. Here's that little piece. I'm just gonna kind of put him around. Like, look at this, one little leaf with his own little root system. Let's put that right there. Another little piece. I mean, this is a really, really full plant. You could easily separate a lot of these and have a whole bunch of little Hoya Chelsea's all over your house. I kind of, want to put a couple of these in a small little pot because I have that skull planter that I got from Timu and I think it's only going to fit like two two inch plants and I was thinking of making my own two inch plants because I went to the nursery the other the other day and I was like well I have to buy two plants for that planter but I could easily just cut something of my own you know like this I could put this easy in a little little pot and I think I might do that I don't know we'll see what I have left like look at this another vine little tiny root system there so I, I think this was too much soil for this plant but holy moly like look at I'm sure you could see the mountain a little bit I'll show it here in a sec the mountain of soil that's left over and the soil is still very 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 moist as well There's a nice big piece. Let's plop that in there. I think this is the last one, if not two last ones. That one looks pretty good. Let me take out some of these really small pieces and I'm gonna work just with the vines for now, like the long pieces and work those around the pot and then I'll fill in the middle with all of the uh, the little pieces. Let's see, any more vines? Last call for vines, there's one more. That one, and I think what's left are all little tiny pieces. 
Yeah, I got a bunch of little pieces here. Okay, let's see what we're working with. So, so far here is our plant that looks awesome. This looks so good. I mean, everything always looks better repotted into terracotta or like this beautiful gray clay one. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's put them a little further down. They're all like right at the top of the pot. A little bit further down and then we're gonna fill in. Well, that one's not even in there. You know what, I think I am gonna put all these little pieces in a separate pot because this one looks pretty full as it is and I still need to put soil in it, so let's. All right, let's fill it on up. And I'm gonna put these little ones in something else. I'm just gonna reuse some of this giant pile of soil here. All right, this one is looking good. I do need to dust off some of the top parts here because I made the mistake before of blowing on the leaves to get the soil off and it just like blows the other soil everywhere. So I think I'm gonna take this outside and give it a little dusting off. But this is the first one. I think it looks great. I'm glad I did this right away because the soil is still very, very moist and who knows how long it's been sitting in that soil, you know? This looks great. I'm really, really excited about this one. Let me go grab another little pot for these other little pieces because I have three, four, five, six little tiny pieces. I can make another cute little plant. BRB. Okay, I got two little pots. I'm not sure if all of them are gonna fit in one. And I have a little bit left in here. I'm just gonna reuse what was here, because why not? I'm sure it's fine. And this feels a little different than the normal Costa Farm soil. Like this one actually looks really good and nice and fluffy. It's just, it was a little too wet for what I wanted, you know? But it doesn't look too bad. Normally they use, what is it? What's that one thing that they use usually and it stays super wet all the time? Cocoa core, coir, something like that? This feels a little different. This feels like a nice houseplant mix. Let's put this, ooh, let's do that one first. He's got a lot of roots. This one. Speaking of Jacqueline's jungle, how on earth does she do a video every day? She literally puts up videos every single day. She goes live on Instagram every single day. How does she do it? I have no idea, I wanna know her secret. Cause I did a video every day back in May. It was so fun, I loved coming up with the ideas, I loved filming and editing the videos. But like, how do you have that many ideas to do a video every single day? I don't know how she does it, but she's awesome. I feel like I'd run out of video ideas or I'd run out of plants to talk about and it would start getting repetitive, like showing the same ones all the time. I don't know. If you haven't checked her out, I'll link her down below. She has a really, really good channel, especially if you like daily videos. And she does a lot of hauls and a lot of like um, unboxings and stuff. She just has such a great personality. I love her channel a lot. And she commented once on one of my community posts and I was like, oh my God, Jacqueline's jungle. I was very excited. I even told my boyfriend. He didn't know who she was, but I was all excited about it. I'm actually not gonna go spread out this soil outside. I'm gonna save it. This is actually really nice. I like it a lot. The one that was in the basket. I just think it was a little too much for the, uh, the plant that was there, you know? All right, now we have our second little Hoya Chelsea. Look how cute that is. A nice little full pot. I love it. So cool, I got two. Whoa. Two plants out of that one pot, all my little hanging vines here and my little guy. Love it, love it, love it. I just felt like this needed to be repotted right away just to give it the best chance at success. Just based on my previous 
experiences with the hanging baskets of Hoya from Costa Farms, but let me know if you found one. I found this at Home Depot. I stopped again today and I found them at another location. I didn't buy one, of course, but they had them and I did pick them up. They're all very heavy. So just a heads up if you go get one. But that is it. I just wanted to show you my two new beautiful babies, my Hoya Bella. This one's okay in this pot. It's very, very dry. If for some reason I feel like I need to repot it, I will, but I think this one's gonna be okay in here. And it was also pretty dry when I bought it as well. And then my beautiful Hoya Chelsea. I forgot to tell you the price on this, but I'm pretty sure it was $19.99. Usually all their hanging baskets are $19.99. But I think that's a pretty good deal, especially for a beautiful wish list baby. But that is it. Let me know if you disagree with me repotting this right away. I love hearing your opinions and your comments. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.